Hi everybody, this is Dazzle Entertainment bringing another fun exciting video today. We're playing Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Part 2. That was a mouthful. Holy crap. Um, last we left, uh, we found a quantum mask. We are now on the search for the other three quantum masks. And we know that Dr. Entrophy and Quartet are back trying to destroy the multiverse. Also, we're about to defeat... Well, we're not about to defeat Engine, but we're on our way to defeat Engine, so... Let's see if I can earn a perfect, a perfect slate, not die at all, on this level. As long as I don't rush it, should be good. <laughs> also, I think this is where our first, uh, our first tape is. Could be wrong. Yep, they show it right away. So they're like, "Hey, here's a new collectible." You guys like my skin? Rocket head, yeah! I love this game! I love the challenge. There's, there's gonna be plenty of one for two along the way. I care more about saving Aku Aku. Okay. So there's secret boxes in here. Watch out for the flaming head guy. You cannot spin him, or you cannot jump on him. Don't know if you can spin him, I never tried. I don't know if I wanna try. Look at that. Look at Mega Mix on the guitar. Nice little reference. So, in case you guys were wondering, you guys are supposed to go on this rail. If you guys did not find the red gem in the previous level, you wouldn't be able to go on here and get all the boxes. Secrets! I love this game. I love secrets. I just wish that there was more colored gems to get instead of just four. That's my only complaint. I miss... I miss purple and orange. Or pur Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's purple and orange. I'm up here. Get all these. There's nothing else. Also, I wanted to show this. You see in the... I'll oh, stop bouncing. You see... Ah, uh, well now you can't see it. Now, now you can. You see over there, behind the flamethrower? Doesn't that look like chick... Uh... I think his name is... The, one of the chickens from Tag Team Racing and uh, Nitro Fuel? I think that's... I think that is. It looks like it is. I wouldn't be surprised. Jump. Watch out for flamethrowers. They are deadly. Oh yeah. Jump. 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 Not too bad hard of a secret area. Always pay attention to graffiti or anything because it, it could have an easter egg. I was gonna be so upset -y if I missed that boss. So, besides getting that, there is a hidden exclamation point crate down there. There, you see it? <laughs> You're probably wondering. <gasps> probably wondering, Jesse, you died. Yes, yes, I did. That's disappointing I died again. Oh, 
poor engine. Got all those boxes. I can't believe I died. I'm never gonna show you guys that, uh, in insanely perfect score. <laughs> My nerves are just killing me because I'm just. I'm here. I'm. I can't believe I'm playing this game. On this channel, like, God, uh, if you guys need more content, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Like, this is crazy that we're here right now. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, jump over, spin this. Do not, and I repeat, do not. If you have problems with bouncing metal crates, don't hit this right away. Jump over it. And I died. And I died. I'm so disappointed. We're gonna make this a little bit easier on me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just jump on top of this of the bounty one. What? I I pressed the jump button. What the heck? Don't know what's happening. I like how I can get it to work. Uh -oh. Also, if you can't jump on the bouncy crate, slide and then jump. Slide jump and then double jump. Okay. Not done yet, gotta go back. Got them all. Look at that, all three gems already and we're, all, we're not even done yet. to get seeker boxes. There's some right here. Just the way how they place boxes in this game is crazy. Like Like, like you would never think about certain places and certain boxes. Like in the tires. Now you're probably wondering how to get up there. Just like that, that's how you do it. Um, I'm always scared because I don't know where the bottom is and I don't want to die. Got it. Yes! Look, I got a rocket head for Coco now. 
And a flashback tape. I fucking love this game. Next level. Right in time, back to the 90s. Play Flash about the experience of Crash Cooker's training in Neo Cortez test chambers. We're not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna try and get all the flashback tapes first and then make one whole video on the flashback tapes, if that's so possible. So I might do some in between level uh, stuff off video just so that way I can get all of them without you guys having to watch me play the same level 50 million times. You know what I, you know, you guys know what I mean? Like, it's, it wouldn't be fair. I would hate to do that. Oh, I wanted to play with Coco in this level. Shit. We're, we might, um... We might... Well, we're gonna play as Coco in the boss area, just to make it fair for her. Since you can play her at any level. You would never think to come down this way, would you? No. Fucking crazy. Because I seriously thought that this was death. Try and get flawlessly off of this level, hopefully. And we're gonna get the other secret that's in this level too. So in case you guys are wondering, there's a trophy called Make Music. Hit all of these and you'll get it. We're gonna do this bonus area. Get this done. I don't remember this one so well. Oh, yes I do. Hit these first. Then hit this. Slide. Jump. Jump. Easy, easy. Oh, if you're an experienced crash player, that is. God, I'm so die. And I hate to say that, but die. I wish I knew how to like spin bots in this game. <laughs> I know that sounds like a noob thing to say, but I don't know how to spin boxes. I don't care what engine has to say, I really don't. It's just more about killing me. See, that one I can do. It's the ones that are like stuck in the corner and it's like... This, this part's hard. Unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> So we're actually going to go over here to the left after this flamethrower is done. 
So you can see there's a hidden gem right up top here. Oh no! That's the first time I ever done that. Well, sorry, Crash. That's a shame. I'm never gonna be able to do that for you guys, aren't, aren't I? I can't believe that happened. I never... There we go. Because you need to come up here and get the boxes anyway if you're going to 100% the level. I love this! I love this game so much. Oh my god. Engine! I don't care. You're not gonna kill me. Bye, Hermit Crab. And our first chase scene. Or no, our second chase scene, I'm sorry. Basically a homage to uh, Crash Bandicoot 4 Rather Quartets with the ball rolling, if you think about it. It's just a little, it's just better controls and different. Fuck, I love it! I love it! You're gonna hear me say that a lot, but damn, this game is so much fun. See this nitro? Spin that. Spin this. And spin this more. When I first played this on my first playthrough, I spun this, I was like, huh. And what well, those other ones made me is like I wonder. And then this popped out and I spun it and I was like, that's a toy car, I wonder what it does. And I didn't know what it did. I was looking at it to see if there's any Easter eggs. I was like, ah, it's just probably a cute little Easter egg. Then I just kept spinning this and it kept moving. Hit this and I got the camera. I was like, interesting. Didn't even know that was gonna be there. Oh my god, this game is so amazing. I'm a lot of people say that this level's not for them. Like this first level's bleh. I or this first like true dimension is because let's face it, Insanity Island is not really a first level because it's it's the beginner level, it's the tutorial. This is like an amazing level. An amazing first experience. Did it. Easy. boss we're gonna switch it up here we're gonna get crash this and we're gonna make Coco into rocket head fandom just look at that that is awesome let's 
do this boss. Stage dive. Alright, all you bloodthirsty lunatics. <laughs> Put your freaky little hands together for Rocket Head. Love it. Spin. Spin. Poor engine. He makes these amazing inventions and he fails. Stay away from my robot, Don't like death metal. Uh, such a homage to a uh, guitar hero. Love it. And I died. So, luckily in boss fights now, you don't have to start from the very beginning. Thank God. I I will admit, this came to some serious homage to certain things, and then it expanded on the idea of Crash Bandicoot, and I absolutely love it. Like it just, I love love what they did to pay homage to Crash and other like all his other previous games it was perfect and I can't wait for you guys to see all of this I love the music so much I just thought oh this game is I'm gonna I'm ranking this game I'm gonna rank this game above the original trilogy, I think, and I, I will do a top like Crash Bandicoot games from best to best to worst. You really know how to make it. Hey, we'll do this the hard way. This this last part's pretty freaking hard. I shouldn't say that. It's not hard. It's just getting lucky. Like, like, like that one jumped off the... Like that one jumped off right before it left. So it's like, do you go for it? Do you wait? Do you have the patience to wait? Bum, bum. Bum, bum. I like the little shortcuts that you can make with certain stuff. game so much and so beautiful well, that does it for this dimension oh 
Well, that's gonna leave it here. We're gonna leave you guys off the pirate dimension. So if you like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more Dicey World Entertainment videos. We'll be doing the whole playthrough of this, of course. Uh, don't forget to watch the first playthrough if you didn't watch this one. Because um, there's a lot of juicy information and secrets about in each episode. Bye, guys.